After the 30 seconds, you will find that God is around you. So watch this video till the end. My dear child, today are you feeling lost and weighed down by the troubles of the world? Turn your gaze away from the storm clouds and fix them on that which I am cultivating in your heart, causing you to reflect my nature and my glory in spite of the turbulence around you. Even amidst the howling winds of adversity and crashing waves of contention, I am here guiding you and guarding you from every assault of hell, even when it originates in those closest to you at times. Within you, by my Holy Spirit, I am producing a garden of enduring virtues, ready to blossom into the fruits of righteousness, peace, joy, and love. Trust in my timing, and let the faith, the unwavering confidence I've instilled in you anchor you amidst the tempest. When others mistreat you, disregard you, and shut you out, pretending all is well when you are aching and hurting nonetheless. Let my compassion flow through you, a balm for wounded souls. Even when you are hurting yourself, allowing my love to overflow as a fruit that nourishes both the giver and the receiver. Remember, I know your need, and though others invalidate the ache of your heart, I am ever watchful, and in the fullness of time, your life will blossom into a garden of love a radiant testament to His grace, a beacon of hope in a world yearning for light. Believe, and let your spirit be lifted towards the horizon of promise. Patience. My child, is not the merely stoic endurance of hardship, but the unwavering confidence in my timing. It is the sturdy root that anchors you even as the tempest rages above. Trust that I am bringing rain to nourish your growth, not to drown you in despair. In the quiet moments, listen to the gentle rhythm of my grace, the steady pulse of my love that whispers, I am here, I am working, I am with you. Gentleness is not weakness, it is the bloom that graces your interactions with the world. It is the soft breeze that bends the oak without breaking it, the gentle touch that melts even the hardest heart. Let my compassion flow through you, a balm for wounded souls, a soothing river for weary minds. Speak words of kindness, even when met with harshness. For my love, like silent sunlight, can melt the frost of anger and misunderstanding. Receive my joy, my child, that arises not out of the artificiality of redefining life's blessing. Neither is fleeting amusement but the unshakable confidence in my goodness. It is the vibrant flower that lifts its face to the sun even amidst shadows. Seek me not in fleeting pleasures, but in the depths of my presence. For within me lies the wellspring of eternal joy, a fountain that can fill the parched corners of your spirit. Let my laughter echo in your heart, a melody that transcends circumstance, a song that whispers, even in darkness, I am the light. Embrace my peace, my child, not the false peace defined as the absence of trouble, but the unwavering trust in my sovereignty. It is the sturdy trunk that shelters you from the storm, the anchor that holds you steady amidst the tossing waves. Do not let the anxieties of the world drown out the underpinnings of my peace that brace you in the conflict and prepare you for the challenges ahead. Breathe deeply of my presence. Let my quiet power infuse your spirit. Remember, I hold the world in my hands, and even the chaos dances to the rhythm of my love. Love. My child is not mere sentiment, but the active overflow of my grace. It is the fruit that nourishes both the giver and the receiver, the sweet nectar that attracts hearts to my presence. Let my love flow through you, a river that quenches the thirst of the lonely, a light that pierces the darkness of despair. Serve with open hands and an open heart, for in giving you receive my boundless love tenfold. All of these are the fruits of my spirit, the seeds I have planted within you. Nurture them with my word, water them with prayer, and allow them to ripen in the sunshine of my presence. And when doubts return, like shadows flitting across a sunlit field, remember my child, I am the gardener tending your soul. Trust in my care, for in the fullness of time, your life will blossom into a garden of love a radiant testament to my grace, a beacon of hope in a world yearning for light. Go now, my child.
and bear these fruits. Walk in my love. Be a vessel of my peace and share the joy that burns eternally within you. Remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Type Amen in the comments section. My dear child, revelation in your spirit will transcend information in your mind if you will allow it. Do not allow yourself to be conformed by the natural mind, but rather transformed by the mind of my spirit that resides within you. Your mind is informational and bounded by inadequacy and imperfection. My mind within you is transformational, unbounded, and limitless. You have heard the exhortation, take the limits off of God. I say to you today that I am not limited in any way, and you also will neither be limited nor bounded as you allow your mind to be washed and cleansed from all that originates from fear, unbelief, and negative expectations, your past, your experiences, and social conditioning shape your mind and present you with a daily subset of limitation, restriction, and inadequacy. This is the information that arises from the five senses and the rational mind. This day, I invite you to set aside sense-ruled assessments and soar with me to the heights where the impossible is not only plausible but inevitable. What man calls impossibility and fantasy are the natural states where I create, craft, and release destiny, provision, healing, and deliverance by my hand. This is where answered prayer originates and there are parcels of the miraculous being released now with your address on the shipping details. So rejoice, says the Father, and expect, for I am ruling myself into your circumstances. And as you trust, obey, and yield to me, the answers you seek will be made manifest. Before you depart, I encourage you to participate in our community down below. Drop your thoughts, prayers, or simply type Amen to affirm your connection with this divine message. Your words are not just comments, they are threads weaving us together in faith.